Yes. I am Muhammad Khalid Zabair Shard. I made this video for all. Originally Kokloma wood tableware were produced in monasteries and for the Saar court only. At that time Kokloma tableware production was not large scale. It was because of expensive imported tin. In 1720s after the end of the North War tin flow to Russian increased. The price went down and the material came within reach of many masters. The production and the sales of brightly painted handmade artworks expanded. Thus in the 19th century items with Kokloma painting were famous not only in Russia but in Persia, India, Middle East, the USA and Australia as well. The export of Kokloma items grew after the worldwide exhibition in 1889 in Paris. In 1916 Nijegorodskoye Zemsto established the first school for woodworking arts and crafts in Semenov. The folk arts and folklore flourished in Volga region near Nizhny Novgorod province. No other territory in Russia could equal it in the number and originality of the folk arts and crafts that had sprang to life and were developed in the local communities. The Kokloma art painting on wooden tableware is the type of Nizhny Novgorod folk art craft that became most popular in Russia and foreign countries. The grass leaves, decorative ornaments and the peculiar color scheme suggest that the Kokloma art is rooted in the ancient Russian decorative culture while the imitation of gilt ornaments on wood dates back to the medieval Russian handicraft skills. The painting technique has been somewhat upgraded but remains essentially the same as in the ancient time. Kokloma Russian painting amazes you with its delicate grass pattern and festive coloring, which is based on combination of scarlet cinnabar and flittering gold against the black lacquer background. This is Kokloma specific feature. Masters used tin powder and lacquer to obtain such gold color. Now they use aluminum powder. First, the art tableware are shaped on a lathe from the dried lime wood, which are turned into bowls, vases, mugs, dishes and spoons. They are dried and covered with red and brown primer, so that they start looking like earthen. The unpainted articles are now coated with drying oil. Next they are polished with powdered aluminium. They become dull shining, like silver, and go to the painting division. Painted articles are then varnished and hardened in ovens at the temperature of 120 to 130 degrees. The heat turns the varnish yellow, the silver, into gold, and mellows the vivid design with an even, golden tone. The Kokloma dishes, cups and wooden drink pots were used for serving food at holiday feasts. The wooden tableware using at the Moscow house of an important statesman had to look valuable, accordingly, they were modeled on the rich painted plates decorated with real golden fabricated by the jewelers for the luxurious homes of the Russian nobility. Thanks to the special varnish and high temperature processing they are quite practical and safe in use. You can drink and eat using these Kokloma tableware, because such wares not sensitive to cold and hot, salty and sour food. Apart from Kokloma wood presence of tableware most visitors to Russia will have at least one set of Matryoshka dolls in their luggage. These dolls within dolls have long been a source of fascination. The undoing of the main doll to reveal others almost add in fine item has always produced wonderment and appreciation for the woodcraft's art. Examples of beautiful Kokloma wood art gifts, Polera and Imstera lacquered miniatures you can look at art store online site. It is amazing that what started out as a true folk tradition over 300 years ago is still thriving and remains basically true to its roots, albeit on a more organized scale. 